and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some new jank here. We got the finale of Zatalpa. So this is a combo deck that we are trying to cast finale of devastation for 10 with X equals 10 and go put a creature into play, which is going to be Zatalpa. So go put Zatalpa into play. Give it plus 10, plus 10, and haste until end of turn. So it's a 14, 14 haste. And so it swings for 28 with the double strike. So that's that's the goal of our deck. So <laughs> this looks like a sweet donation deck here from White Korean. And we have, uh, we have just a whole bunch of ramp. And... Uh, with the deck, not much removal. You know, like we're not really trying to interact. We're just trying to trying to do our thing, trying to get our, our combo. So we got, you know, seven mana creatures. We got Gift of Paradise. We have Gilded Lotus. Nissa helps ramp us. Just trying to ramp big and then a finale of Devastation for Zatalpa. So th this one looks pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> I hope this makes somebody quit Arena. Oh, I hope it doesn't make anybody quit Arena. I hope our opponents, like, wow, that was cool whenever we get to do that. Um, so yeah, if we draw Zatalpa, it's not great for us. It's not very good at all if we draw Zatalpa. Um, thanks, Chief Seth. Um, our, our main thing that we can do is ditch it with Chemistry's Insight if we draw Zatalpa. You know, we, we can discard the Zatalpa here to the jump start and get it back in our graveyard because devastation does let you search your graveyard so we're we're good there as long as it's in our graveyard and you know tamio helps put it in there but yeah we're hoping not to draw it uh that's that's the thing there um okay so let's see so let's give this a try so you're saying there's a new code that i need to put in called mythic magic we'll see if it works Mythic magic. Redeem successfully. Okay, what do we get? A Liliana Dreadhorde General. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. A finale of promise. And a Rolesque. Sweet. That's a good code. That's a good code. Alright, so like always, we're gonna play in the traditional constructed queue. See how we do here. See if we play until we either win five or lose two, whichever comes first. All right, so that code was Mythic Magic. So I'm going to add that to the other codes. Um, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you go over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG, you can just type exclamation point code and get all of the codes that are currently um, available on Arena. And I'm going to update it. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this is code number 16. So there we go. All right, we're going to need a little bit more lands. We just had like two lands. That hand was looking kind of good. You got an Ilharg with yours? Nice. So yeah, I guess you get three random mythics. <clears throat> from the last three sets with that code. All right, this looks like four color command, the Dread Horde. Could be just like Jeskai control though as well. Alright, it looks like Jeskai control. The command for the code list is code or codes. Either one Whatever you works. By a good exclamation assault. point code or exclamation point codes. So I need lands. The moon looks intriguing tonight. I kind of want to have the first Tamiyo get back the other Tamiyo. <clears throat> to be honest here. But no, we'll take up. 
to the library. So we can't really say we can't say a land. I think I may just say land war elf. Wow, so smart. It was land war elf in three lands. Nailed it. G-Bot's not working too well. If I enjoy this. Now they come up. If you wish to meditate and prepare. Uh, you, you go to the store screen. The You go to the store, and it, in the store there's a place Subject to input codes at. Agitated. Not protect itself. The land shall conquer you. Just scoops it up. We don't get to do anything cool. I think I was going to name Crisis, I guess. Nissa, who wins the game. Yeah. Um, definitely feels like this is a mass manipulation match up. Doesn't seem like we really need Ripjaw Raptor. I'm not, I don't even know if I really want these again because of the little Teferi. Like, this looks pretty good. They probably have, like, sweepers and stuff, and they have... They probably have ways to deal with Riptar Raptor. Ooh, put a river's rebuke in here over the other gilded lotus that would, yeah that would probably be pretty good yeah i could see this being a river's rebuke matchup actually yes yeah, so this could be a river's rebuke instead of this gilded lotus here you can find the golgari there you go thanks Ragabosh put the link in there. That's the link to find the Golgari Dread Dread Horde deck. So our opponent shocked in here for the Steam Vents. We saw Spell Pierce last game. Definitely feels like they're shocking in for Spell Pierce. The focus home your prowess. Gilded Loaded Narset's a combo. The past spreads with thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, that code's different for everybody. Yeah, you get three random mythics from the past three sets. I didn't get any. I, all three of mine were from War of the Spark because I already had... <laughs> they, they don't get to draw a card, but then they still have to discard a card. <laughs> but don't draw. Just the trick for this. Uh... 
Okay. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, three mana off. Keep an open mind. Three. Wait, why would it cost six? Oh, because Kasmina. Kasmina makes it cost more. Right. Uh, I was going to have to refigure that one out, but our opponent just scooped it up. They're like, that's enough of that. All right, 1 and 0 oh for the finale of Zatalpa. We haven't gotten to do our thing yet. We haven't been able to finale in as a top of yet our opponent liked scooping pretty pretty fast but that's all right that was pretty sweet turn three we played turn three narset but also with gilded lotus so that was really cool Simic Gilgate. Donation decks are twenty dollars. No, we drew the Zatalpa. No. If I would have only just played the Escanta last turn, we would have been able to put the Zatalpa in the graveyard. That's a good point. We could actually cast it with the Lotus. I suppose we could do that. Uh, J-Jack, what was your question? Gilbos has a cool sound when it enters. That's cool. So I, could, I do get to hard cast this Atalpa next turn. Evolution Sage. All right, we proliferating. Cool turn, cool turn. You're welcome, Orny. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, you got got uh, some new codes. Hope you got some cool, cool stuff with it. Oh, any comments for you? Okay. Um, yeah, I... Oh, yeah, I talked about some comments at the end of the, the video. Um, I think I wanted to move the it's the nice Bronstodons to, to the sideboard because there's already enough board. artifact and enchantment These removal in the deck and just step. get a fourth of all the Explore things in there. You know, get the fourth Wild Growth, Jade Light, and Branch Walker in there instead of the Bronstodons. That was just the main... That was the main thing. Besides that, it played... Pretty good. Two, four, six, ten. Zatapa. Boom, boom. <laughs> I 
Gotta love Mowu, though. Mowu is the best. <laughs> Thanks, French McToasty. Thanks. No. Everybody's scooping. The scoops are endless. Hey, say moi. Uh, oh, I don't have I don't have any like uh, any kind of PO box or anything. If you want to send me a tie, I just have you know just like my regular address, I guess. I don't have anything else though. <laughs> yeah, that person that said I wish, <laughs> that person before that that says I hope that somebody quits arena because of this deck. That's what it's kind of seemed like from our opponents. <laughs> if you play against Simic and get beaten up by a Zatulpa, the scoop is to avoid shame. <laughs> deck name is now Raisin Brand because you get two scoops. <laughs> That's pretty good. Say an opinion about Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, it's a well-designed card. It's a it's a good, powerful card. It's it's of course a an aggressive black flyer, and the other black aggressive cards are not so good. And it doesn't have so it doesn't have a really good shell around it, even though it's an individually good card. And that's why it's not really seeing play. Black aggro does not have the card advantage that, you know, you don't have like a branch walkers and jade light rangers and stuff like that. Mono red. No lands. That's a bold strat. Not playing any lands. It's a bold strategy. One land in top 11. I don't know, at least I had a good game. I'll say good game back. They're certainly not dead though. I kind of have nothing. to buy two to four displays of upcoming expansions to get bigger card pool or just buy singles to make decks. If you're talking about like, yeah, with, with paper, I would recommend buying the singles. Cost four? Lame. Timio! I am Tamio. Hey, what's up, Tamio? We have four finales I in here, right? Now we got three finales. Hmm. We have four rip jaws. Ooh. Good call. Rip J was on top. I could have I could have still cast the finale if I would have said finale, I, I could have still can cast, cast the finale for four this turn to grab a rip jaw. Also. <laughs> yeah, you get you get however many there are in the top four. Man, I'm so good at Tamioing. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, I'm one mana short. Lame. Oh, I should have played the Hinterland Harbor so I could turn the Druid into a... Yeah, I should have played the Hinterland Harbor. And then I could turn the Druid into a 3-5. Yeah, we were one mana short. I, I already counted the two, like, for the, t the casting cost, and then I counted X, so we had nine. Because, you know, we had three... Three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we had eleven. Don't concede, opponent. Don't concede. Don't concede. Let's do the thing. There's a good chance we're losing this match because, you know, Mono Red's a great deck. Oh, that's the feels bad. That's a feels bad. Ugh, that's a double ripjaw raptor and you're chain whirling. I guess you do not want to talk. Ooh. That's a feels bad. Oh no, Hubba, don't say that. Don't say that. We're not gonna draw. We're not drawing Zatalpa, don't say that. Oh, that's that's our opponent's game plan. Make us draw all these cards so we draw Zatalpa. No, 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 no. Ooh, okay, dodged. Clutch dodge. Oh, this... There's a leaf, you know, like this... Like, there's a leaf that was, like, flying across the screen, and I thought it was, like, a little bug, you know, like, in the air or something, like a, like a little gnat. And I was like, what is that? Why is there, is there a gnat in here? And then I realized it was a leaf. Here we go. What? There's not any kind of cool animation? I am pretty lame. That's true. The finale of Zitalpa coming through. Our opponent's taking a screenshot. <laughs> if we draw Zitalpa, we cry. Thorn Lieutenants and Brontodons are in here. Hmm. Coming in to help us out. What are we cutting? <laughs> we did have a 1012 incubation druid, that is true. Got us Kanta. Oh no, Kanta's cool. All right, kind of Kanta, cutting one insight. I guess we'll keep two more. Cause I guess we have to keep two because no, nah, we'll just have like gift and lotus. We just got these insights. There we go. Yeah, less blue cards, more green cards. Now the deck looks better. More green, less blue. Too much blue over here. Our mana base really blew it for us. Ow. Why are you shocking Kaya like that? What Kaya ever do to you? Alright, so they just playing a Pyromancer.
Yeah, get that risk factor out of here. All right, time to get in the car. Gotta get this Nisa. Ride it to victory. Yeah, if you would, if you were to finale for Ronis, you have to, you have to continue, you have to finish out, you have to finish resolving the finale of Devastation first. So the, the finale de devastation would, you know, you continue with that whole card first. And then, um, and so you like, you'd give them plus 10, plus 10. And then after that, then the, then the Ronus trigger would resolve. And so then you would double the power. I think the three life with the Gift of Paradise is pretty important in this deck. Behold, nature's true power. Making the Gift of Paradise land into a creature is kind of dangerous. Informant for my study. The past is never forgotten. The land fights for us. Mm, I should probably be attacking there. The Thorn Lieutenant also. So do they have Frenzy or nah? Uh, they've got they've gotten a shock, a coil, a strike, two wizards lightnings, and another shock. No one asked for you. Now being fire. I will not stand for <laughs> such <laughs> violence. Being fire. Hey Aaron, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. That's our seventh sub of the day. Thanks for that support there. Okay. Witness the ties that bind us all. Three and O. Oh. We're cruising here. Is it 
Talpa too strong. So Talpa's crushing it. <laughs> uh, I need two lands. Well, I mean, I, I could use more than two. <laughs> oh no, not Mono White. All right, Mono White's gonna be tough. Yeah, we, we did play Zatalpa. We cast Zatalpa against the Mono Red deck. Right? No, we cast Zatalpa against somebody else. Then we, we finale for Zatalpa against Mono Red. We cast it against, I don't know, some other deck. That was a good good curve. That was a good curve. Still a good curve. All right, this river's rebuke's gonna save us. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was definitely possible to have better hands than that. Which is crazy, but yeah, no, that was that was a good one. Ugh. So you think if we would have had a river's rebuke, we wouldn't have been on the casting because we only had five mana. But it would have been cool. Our deck can kill on turn four with a perfect draw. So what's our perfect draw? Like Lanwar Elf, and then like Druid Lanwar Elf. Ugh. But just start starting to drop Riptar Raptors on turn four. That may have a stabilize. So it's Nissa on turn three and then Finale on turn four. Alright, well we need to draw one more land. Definitely don't like seeing all these aspirants. They can gain flying. So two lands, five one drops, and a venerate Luxodon. That's pretty nice. I can't play Paradise or Gilded Lotus plus Raptors. We just have to play the Raptor there. Yeah, the Aspirants are just a huge problem with the flying and everything. Oh, come on. Got a top deck of Baffling End. I mean, it's just lethal if they attack. Yeah. 
So if you're asking if their first hand was as good as they could do, well, that one's better. And they mulliganed with that hand also. Venerate Luxodon is broken. That card's ridiculous. Bleh. All right, so we're going to we're going to match number five. We're still in there. We're three one. Hey, Pink Riots! Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Thanks for that support. That's sub number eight on the day. Man, what are with these aggro decks? Why can't we play against Mopey Midrange? We want Mopey Midrange, not kill you immediately aggro. It's no fun. All right, Ragabosh. Yeah, good luck. So blocking makes it makes them have to wait on light at the stage. It's likely if they if they don't want to use their Oh, that's what I was going to say. They don't use their Firebrand to kill the Land Werewolf. I was going to say it's likely they have a Chain Whirler that was going to kill the Land Werewolf anyway. So it's not a trade I liked, but it's a trade that we just had to make last turn. Hmm. You don't always get what you want. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to try to stay alive. There's a couple of card styles that you can purchase with gold, but not many. Most all of them are gems, but there's a couple. You just have to go to the store. There's some that are gold. I think I think they're like some of the Planeswalker glass-stained ones. All right, more green, less blue. Boom. Done. Perfect sideboarding. Uh, thanks, Pink Riots. Thank you so much. Saying I kept forgetting I had the Twitch Prime, and I watch your stuff on YouTube a lot, so I need to give that thing out more. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad you took the time to, uh, you know, log in over here and and subscribe there. I appreciate that. We lost to Mono White. They killed us on, like, turn four both games. Around there, turn four, turn five. I guess it was turn five both games. And then we lost a similar game to Mono Red just a little bit ago. 
We've had like one or two lands in almost all of these hands. And look at the deck list. We're, we only got 24 lands in here, and that doesn't seem like enough whenever our deck needs to hit a good amount of land drops. Like, we're, we're trying to ramp here. I would, I would prefer this to be like 25, 26 lands than 24. Because this is the kind of deck we can't we can't get stuck on lands. We're not we're not winning when we get stuck on lands like this. Like the game just ends. And you know, like when we have a whole lot of lands, we can have like a, a big crisis to try to catch up. Uh, I I don't kiwi. I don't wear a t-shirt underneath. Uh, my dress shirts, but I've, I've honestly been kind of blessed where I haven't, I haven't ever been like much of a sweater. So like, like heavy sweating isn't something that there is something that I, I've been affected by too much. I'm a, okay. Rip jaw. Been lucky to just, I'm just a pretty, I'm just a really skinny person and um, yeah, it's not a problem that I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing slacks right now. I'm always wearing slacks or uh, jeans. One of the two. I mean, so do I, Stufako. I just, I also work from home, but I just work from home where everybody sees me and everything, so. That is true. I do not, nor ever have, worn a hoodie. Sorry, not worn, but owned. I've never owned a hoodie. I think I've put one on at one point in my life. I don't, I would assume I have at some point. I can't remember when that would have been. I have no memory of it, but, you know, just statistically wise, I've probably put one on at some point. Um. This is a pretty scary battlefield that my opponent has going on here with all these Steamkins. I'd like to draw a land, preferably here. Because a land meant I could Krasis for six and play and still sack Brontodon. So I can sack Krasis, or I can, sorry, I can play Krasis for six and just hope that one of my top three cards is a land to blow up the frenzy. It's risky because if 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 it's not, you know, if, if I draw three spells, then they get to a turn with frenzy with millions and millions of mana, and that's risky. I mean, they could, they could honestly play like 20 spells. I don't think it's worth it. I think you will find my notes helpful.
Yeah, I could have just crisis for four. And then and sacrificed, I suppose. Could have done that. So that's their hands. You could use some manners. So they get eight damage in. Well, that's a, it's a bad, it's a bad attack. They should just be attacking with the two 4-4 four, four Steamkins. Now they're just sacrificing. They're sacrificing their Chain Whirler and, and one of the Steamkins, plus letting me draw a card for two damage. That's not a good attack. They should just be attacking with the 4-4s. Four, to the library. Lost my touch with Tamio. Not exile it. And this is not exactly free there because if I do play the Nissa, uh, wait. So it's four, six, eight. Okay, yeah, that doesn't kill us. If I play the Nissa, like the Tamio goes down on loyalty, they can kill the Tamio. That's good. Okay. So if we go green, green, blue on this thing, I have six man, I have six. We haven't even seen a finale yet, have we? Been... No, drawn Zatalpa. All right, I guess we just cast Zatalpa. I should probably get at a higher life total though. Game three. This is a tough one on the draw. Game three. Can we get there?
Should I play Negates instead of Gilded Lotuses? We'll do one Spell Pierce, one Negate, instead of the two Guild Lotuses since we're on the draw. <laughs> Take out Zatalpa? <laughs> nah, we can't do that. How are we going to win if we don't have Zatalpa? Nah, we've got to keep Zatalpa's in. Got to do that. They're mulliganing, so we'll keep this hand. They probably don't have like a perfect hand. Alright, we got the finale. So we can have Gift on turn 3, Raptor on 4, Raptor on 5, Finale for a Raptor on six. Or we can Finale for Brontodon if they have Frenzy. Still need, could use another another couple of lands. Welcome to my symphony. Of my friend is here to help your pain. Yeah, I could really use a land drop next turn so that we get to play Gift plus Ripjaw. My assistants are painfully sloppy. We need another land or two in this deck. Really do. It's a good point. Gift would not have gained us life there that turn. Good point. Good point. I was, dang, I was hoping they would have Frenzy here and I could spell Pierce a Frenzy. Oh. Hate spell Pierce. Are so bad. Never do anything.
Yeah, I'm not I'm not activating the mobilized district. I would have I would have played a, just a little differently if I would have had negate instead of spell pierce. Like I would have had the land war elf down a turn earlier, and then I would have been able to have negate the next turn. All right, so one, two, three, four. We have the Krasis go kill the Tabalt. And then double Gift of Paradise. And then set up for finale the next turn. So this is looking good. I don't even know what you do, Nissa. Do I get to Nissa plus double Gift of Paradise? Fine then, I'll leave. Um, we will not fail. All right, looks like we're winning this. Yeah, looks like we stabilized. That was a turn. All right, finale for Zatalpa. I'd assume I have 10. I could have done 13. Well, I mean, I could have done a lot more than that. I could have done 15, 17. 10 will do, though. Zatapa! Midnight Slayer, thanks for that resub. The finale of Zatalpa taking out Mono Red. We're 2 0 against Mono Red here. Ripped all Raptors were so clutch. All right, we are 4 and 1. Y'all know what that means. That means we are at the final boss. Let's go. Can we defeat the final boss here with the finale of Zatalpa? Yeah, who wanted the Frilled Mystic for Ripjaw? Yeah. No, we've needed these Ripjaws. We've been playing against just all these red decks. Okay, let's go. One more. We need some more lands in this deck. <laughs> we really do. There we go. 
Can't afford to miss land drops in the big mana deck. We got feather. We got a feather. I will aid you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, we can just have ten mana next turn. We need to draw Shockland. If we draw Shockland, or sorry, draw Forest. What we need to do is, if we draw Forest, and they don't have any removal, of course. No, don't have removal. Boo. Oh, and of course, that Enough. Reckless Rage was really the card we needed to dodge was Reckless Rage, because that's an instance so that's coming back to their hand, can kill more things. Yep. We really need to dodge that card. So two, four, five, six. The land fights for us. All right, so best bet I can do is just make a really big crisis. That's all I can do here. Ripjaw's a good card to get, though. Like, I could finale for Ripjaw next turn. Yeah, Luna, it, yeah, the arena meta changes every day, but that's also just a really small sample size, you know? Like, only playing, like, you know, just looking at four matches at a time. Like, you can you can really play against anything when you're just looking at that small of a sample size also. One, two, three, four, five. If I go get Ripjaw Raptor, I gotta turn the island into a land. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Crowl Harpooner would be awesome right now. Just Harpooner away that feather. We should probably have like one Harpooner in the sideboard. Just like one, you know, that we could go grab with Finale. If this deck is more of a, you know, if it's kind of popular. Maybe we should have one over there. That's true. We only have the two creatures for Harpooner. That's true. We have to wait a little bit. So yeah, we're just trying to race here. I cannot protect you anymore. This is basically all I'm going to have. 
these two creatures. Hmm, they're down to four. If they didn't have Reckless Rage, we would have certainly got had this game. If they didn't have Reckless Rage. So we need to find another finale. You can find like more like Gilded Lotus, get a bunch of mana, get another finale. There's a Zatalpa. I mean, just finding a Gilded Lotus here and then just drawing Zatalpa. I, I should have played the Ascanta because I, I could play the Ascanta and activate this other Ascanta, but. I get Gilded Lotus. Hmm. It's not Gilded Lotus. Have a storied battle worth retelling. I have learned much from my ancestors. Could play that Ascanta last turn. Zatalpa is indestructible. I definitely want the mass manipulations here. Rivers of Beak's not so bad. 
negating their spells like isn't really that good because they go back to their hand if they have the feather out. Um, I do kind of like Azkanta here. Yeah, we were thinking about Entrancing Melody with this deck, of course. Um, th this, this specific matchup, Entrancing Melody, is amazing. Uh, a lot of the other ones, it's kind of slow against some of the other aggro decks. Uh, no, whenever you first mass manipulation their feather, it does not get you do not get your card back. But however, if you take if you have Feather on your side of the battlefield and then you cast Mass Manipulation, like if you get it back with Tamiya or whatever, and you steal your own Feather plus steal other things, then the, the Manipulation will go back to you. And um, and you can kind of keep recasting it there. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. Let me aid your research. I think you will find my notes helpful. Dang. Nothing. See, I didn't play the Mobilize District here, even though that would have been a great card to block. I didn't play it here because we need four blue mana for mass manipulation. My research has been compromised. If we would find that card. Hey, Z the Monk, cool. You got six packs and three mythics and a bunch of cosmetics that you didn't have? Awesome. Yeah, three and two is pretty good. Nothing wrong with three and two. Well, let's see. We need 12 mana next turn. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we have to cast this thing. I was seeing if I could hold the, the mobilized district back to block, but I can't. So we just gotta survive this attack. Uh, 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll have 12 next turn. So we got to survive this attack. We got them. They can't have another Ixalan's Binding. But we have a shot. We have a real chance. We have a real chance. No, I don't like that. Okay, okay. That that costs a lot of mana and doesn't do a whole lot. That's only twelve. Come on, please live, please live. The finale of Zetalpa. And the crowd's cheering. X is 10. And there we go. That's only game two. But we, that was a sweet game two. Gilded Lotus coming through clutch. And they're dead. Okay, game three. Game three. We're still in there. <laughs> Chances that opponent thought they were about to take 28. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, let's, let's try this. I mean, we got, we got our good mana. We can draw ramp spells. I really like this card. We have basically everything except for like the early ramp spells, and so I was hoping that hoping that we would draw those. Really hope we draw something here to do on this turn three, because they had a really fast start. On the play, nope. That hurts. It's definitely hoping that they wouldn't have this really fast start of force also. Yeah, I mean, if I knew my opponent would have, like, the, the double haste two drop and I wouldn't draw anything before turn four, like, my, if my first three draws weren't going to be any any ramp spells and they would have the double haste two drop, I would have mulliganed. But, I, I mean, it's... It's the kind of hand that can beat some, like, Feather's slower hands, which the Feather deck has a lot of slower hands. Just didn't end up having it there. Four and two. Oh, I didn't. I didn't update this. Over anyway, we were we had four wins. Anyway, we were four and we were four and one. So we were four. We went four and two. There. But yeah, this was a fun deck. This one was pretty sweet. So, uh, you know, we got we got ran over a couple of times. Let me. And that that kind of thing is gonna gonna happen. With a, a deck like where we're not playing much removal, we're just trying to ramp. So like. You know, mono white aggro ran us over, and yeah, that last hand that Mar that Mardu deck had ran us over. That can happen, um, but yeah, this deck was sweet. Liked it quite a bit, you know, like being able to just finale in Zatalpa, pretty awesome.
I'd have to say. The Riptar Raptors were so, so good. Chemister's Insight felt really, really slow. I don't I don't like the Chemister's Insights. I think that just just relying on like your gift or Gilded Lotus to cast your Zatalpa is probably the way to go. Or just Charter Course. I think I'd rather have Charter Course than Chemister's Insight, to be honest, with this kind of deck. Um, yeah, I think I think I would just take these these things out. Charter Course. Let's do play like two Charter Courses because that's something a lot fa a lot a lot less uh, mana. And then I definitely, as we talked about, this needs another land. And then we'll just get another land in here. Um, uh, I don't really care what land. I mean, I guess just another forest. Yeah, I mean, it's just another forest. So yeah, it needs another land. And then two Charter Course. That can get rid of Zatalpa still. Um, it it helps you double spell with, you know, like Charter Courses and everything. Like it works like, you know, you get to Paradise some land and then use the two mana there. Maybe you attack with a land or elf or an Incubation Druid early just to turn it on kind of thing. But that that helps the consistency of the deck, I think. Um, so yeah, those, those Chemistry's Insights are just way, way, way too slow. Um, so that should that should help there. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. So yeah, thanks, White Korean. This was a, a very fun deck here. Enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, hey, Knucklehead. Hey, GG's. Uh, so yeah, the finale of Zatalpa. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, opt yeah, I mean, Opt is good too, but I think that I like Chart, of course, because if you have this, this the Zatalpa in your hand, you want to discard it. And that's what Chart of Course can do is help you discard it at times. Other times you can hard cast it, you know, and everything. So that's why I think Chart of Course is probably better than Opt here. But yeah, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for another video.